In the second of our short tours, we welcome you back to Blades House, the 18th century home of the Blades merchant and shipbuilding family, and now home to the University of Hull's Blades Maritime Centre. Standing on Hull's High Street, Blades House was a place of work and trade, but it was also a family home, and in this tour we are going to find out what it was like to live there. Beyond the offices on either side of the entrance hall was the ground floor dining room. This was used for family meals and was also a place to entertain guests and potential clients. There were also lots of decorations which were meant to impress visitors, but it was also a space for the family to enjoy. The staircase, which we mentioned in our first tour, led up to the bedrooms and private sitting rooms which were located in the first and second floors of the house. Let's head to the drawing room, which is now used as a place for talks. With its beautiful split pediment doorway, this was the most beautiful space in the house. This wave decoration was popular in 18th century architecture, but here, on the blade's mantelpiece, we can't help but wonder if it is saying that this family made its wealth from the sea. It wasn't just the Blades family who lived in this house. It was also home to the servants who helped to run the household. Back on the ground floor, the kitchen would have been a hive of activity, as it was where meals for the family and for the guests would have been prepared. It looks quite small, but in fact the original kitchen would have occupied the entire eastern corner of the house. Only the hearth and the oven now remain. Tucked away on the top floor of the house were the servants' bedrooms. These small, low-ceiling dormitories could be shared by up to six people. Domestic servants could not expect privacy in space, but at least the fire would have offered some warmth. As a family home, children also lived at Blade's house. This room was probably the children's nursery. It now holds rows of books, informing research at the Blades Maritime Centre and is amongst the best maritime history libraries in the country. The Blades family too may have kept the library. Many merchants like to be seen as cultured people and patrons of the arts. Having a library at home was not uncommon and perhaps the Blades family would be pleased to see so many books in their former home today.